Emmanuel Macron said the other day, prepare yourself. Uh, the, uh, there's a new sort of era of austerity coming. Do you feel that in Europe? The inflation crisis is worse. Obviously, the Ukraine uh, war is much more uh, localized. And they have also domestic issues, too. I think uh, the saying winter is coming is both uh, figurative and also literal in, uh, in Europe now. And we are finding a lot of pressures happening in Europe, not only due to COVID, but also due to the war in Ukraine. And I think Europe wished that the problems of Brexit were the only things that they had to think about coming into right. 2021 and now 2022. So Europe has been put under pressure by in many different angles, uh, be it the war in Ukraine, be it now the energy crisis, be it uh, COVID. But I think one thing that many people aren't focusing on, and if you really want to see the trajectories of where the problems are going to emerge even more so, is looking at illegal and legal migration patterns across Europe and across the world. And those countries where it's people, their people are leaving in droves to go to, to what they consider more established, more safer places, they're going to face the brain drain and the compounding negative impacts of that over the years. And those countries in which they're going into are going to face, again, issues uh, with uh, populism, I think a lot more, economic issues, and a, a government which needs to respond uh, swiftly but with such divergent opinions of what to do in this situation, the government is stuck in a very difficult situation as to what they should be doing moving forward because they're going to hurt a number of different demographics right. in their countries. Um, where do you see potential spots of people doing things right in Europe? And where do you see what they're doing wrong? I mean, I, I, I've been very focused on, you know, I was originally from the UK, so I've been focused on the leadership election there, and some of the promises are quite incredible. Uh, but then you do see some pragmatic policies coming out of some of the southern European countries as well, who obviously still have that hangover from the debt crisis. I think southern European countries are facing issues in relation to even a, a, a uh, what they're hoping to be a weakening euro, which will, in, will, which will incentivize UK holidaygoers and holiday goers from other parts of the world to come in uh -huh. and, uh, and, and boost the uh, economy, which will drive much needed uh, foreign currency uh, to come into the country. But we're seeing that not happening as much due to the pandemic and due to other places like uh, Turkey with massive uh, problems in terms of inflation and devaluation of their currencies, leading more people going into there. So Europe, so Southern Europe is facing their own issues with the with migration crises, with the political uh, situation, especially in Italy and others, which is in turmoil now. Uh, so they have a lot of things internally that have existed pre-COVID uh, and pre-Brexit, if that's even a memory left in people's minds, that they were dealing with, and these have just compounded the impacts across the board. In the UK, actually, the leadership election uh, is, a, is, a, is, a, is, is something which businesses are focusing on, because both candidates are giving very clearly different impressions of what they want to do and what the vision for the UK would be under their leadership moving forward. But we'll see what happens in that regard, but it's still a very tense situation in yeah. Europe with no real easy way out.